Hey peoples of Twitch, welcome back to another stream on the Meadow SMP and today, today I'm basically going to be a wizard. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be glorious. We're going to brew up a whole bunch of potions and then we are going to finally have the reality of a super duper cheap trading hall or at least the the first couple villagers of an uber cheap trading hall it's going to be glorious it's going to be glorious this is also 100 percent so bizarre because i literally just came from writing a social studies paper on how cheap products are always because of cheap labor and bad working conditions and now i'm literally talking about getting really cheap products for horrible working conditions oh boy oh boy am i am i a horrible person beginning to realize that i may or may not be a horrible person all right then feeling great okay well first things first is i think that i'm going to get myself actually another brewing stand because I don't want to have to move that one because I just don't want to. However, I still want to be able to brew potions down at my villager conversion area so I don't have to come all the way back here. Okay, so for, so for that I need some cobblestone, I already have blaze rods, I have mushrooms, all great stuff, all great stuff. And I'm also going to quickly get everything that I need for a little mini mushroom farm that we can have down at our villager conversion area because as i said i don't want to have to go back and forth a whole bunch and we're going to need a lot of potions because until we have a fletcher with a weakness arrow that's what we're doing we're going back and forth and 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 it's not very pleasant Okay, let's see. Oh dear, my brown mushrooms have not grown yet. So, well, we, we still do have a couple brown mushrooms in our inventory. Thankfully, we have a little bit stored up, so we can make a mushroom farm out of that real quickly. I believe I have also some mycelium stored upstairs. I'll go grab that real quick, as well as some dirt. And then also a door or something, and then we can build a nice little mushroom farm there. And I have plenty of spider eyes stocked up that I can quickly grab for the fermented spider eyes. As well as sugar is super easy to come by. As of the fact that I have an insanely good sugarcane farm. Alright then. Now if we just head over there real quickly. Here we are. How are my spider eyes doing? Lovely. They're nice and gooey. Is, is a spider eye gooey, I wonder? Would it be gooey? Would it just be like squishy and slimy? Or would it just be like solid? Solid and slightly squishable. What would it be? Would it be would it be waterproof? I suppose an eyeball wouldn't be waterproof. It kind of has to be able to allow water in and out, doesn't it? Okay, well, moving on from the random discussion about eyeballs. Next up is we need to grab ourselves some sugar or sugar cane. Both. Where there we go. We got some sugar cane. Do I have? I do. I do have some sugar. I'll grab the sugar. And then leave behind like half of this. Only need about half of this. There we go. And then next thing we need is just a door real quickly for the mushroom farm. Do I have anything other than oak? I have a birch door. I have actually I actually have a dark oak door. I want the dark. Nope, I want the spruce door. I like the spruce door best. I have a spruce door now. I'm happy. Okay, where did I put the mycelium now is the question. Okay, well I know I'm going to need grass because mycelium overpowers grass. Do I have dirt though? Just in case. I don't want the grass to spread. Okay, there we go. And then we'll have mycelium. And that should be everything that we need other than perhaps some slabs. Yeah, let's use let's use slabs for spawn proofing. And then also barrels so we have stuff to store stuff in. And that should be everything that we need. Alright then, let's head right off to our trading hall. So get everything all started up. Oh, lovely. It's the middle of the night. Night is lovely. Okay, mycelium is not here. Mycelium is not here. Mycelium is not here. I have eggs, though. Mycelium- Where is my mycelium? I found my wood, though. I found the wood I was searching for so long ago. No mycelium. No mycelium. Where is the mycelium? Where is the mycelium? Where is the mycelium? This is not be- This is not very helpful. This is not very helpful. I need- I- There we go! I have a singular piece of mycelium. 
This is, this is going, this is amazing. I have a singular piece of mycelium. Not sure how much help this is going to be, but I have one. I have one piece of mycelium. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I ha I do have rockets. I'm just blind. Okay, let's fly over back to our house. And here we are. Did I just call this my- I just called this my house. Is that a bad sign that I have spent enough time in my trading hall that I call it my house? Is that a bad sign? I feel like that's a bad sign. I mean, just thinking out loud, I think it's a bad sign when the place that I work- I call the place- when I call the place that I work my home. Is that- that is definitely a bad sign. Okay, let's see. Where are we gonna make our brewing room? We're gonna make our brewing room right past here. Because where else are we gonna put it? I have no idea. Exactly, that's why we're putting this here. Okay, and now we just clear out lots and lots of space. And make sure that we do not have any dirt or grass that our mycelium can spread to and infect every other place outside. Because if I turn the grass outside into mycelium, the admin will make me clean that up. And thank you very much, but I would not like to do that. Okay, now we can just grab our shovel and dig out all of this dirt because the mycelium will convert this, and I have no idea if this connects to grass at any point. So we're just gonna get rid of it all. All of it. Every single bit. Okay, and boink, there we are. Perfect! Awesome! Now we just have to fill some of this in. Not all of it, of course. We still do have some areas that can be happily left be, as we'll need to dig them out anyways. But other bits will definitely need to get filled in. First things first, we need to line this area with deep slates so that we have a hallway going into our brewing room, which shall be here. Which means I need to open this up slightly so that we have more room as well as I want to start building out a floor so I can see where we are. And I actually- do, I'm gonna bring- I'm gonna dig the ceiling up. I'll dig the ceiling up so we have more space. There we go, and the, the brewing room probably isn't gonna be too 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 grand, so we'll probably stick with a three high ceiling. Feeling slightly noobish now when we're reverting back to just three high ceilings, but... Oh well, can't- can't be amazing all the time. And then we'll probably add in some warped plank slabs here. I can actually just take this, please. Don't have a lot of warp planks, so anywhere I can cheap out is a good day. Great. Great. Feeling good. Okay, and then we'll have stairs here, which means this actually needs to be this. There we go. So we'll have stairs here, and then we can have a ceiling along here. And this here can be where we go into our brewing room. And let's- I don't want to bring out dirt because we're gonna have mycelium soon. And I really don't want mycelium to spread anywhere. That would just be plain out bad if mycelium got everywhere. Okay, and this should be a big enough brewing room. Doesn't need to be massive. So just this little bit should be good. Right, and then we can work on the walls and then the mushroom growing room. As well as a water area so that we can fill up water bottles here. And then we should be all good. Okay. And voila, done. And then the walls, if we just chop out all the stone along the roof, we can get the walls in real quickly. And that's actually- this is actually insanely quick. I thought that this would take slightly longer because I'm usually pretty slow at building, but we're actually like almost- we're actually a little bit more than halfway done. So that was very, very quick. Very, very quick. That's great. That's amazing. Okay, I want to go one more so that we can have a brewing stand in the center of the room. Otherwise, it will annoy me forever. Okay, and... Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. And then do I have the right... Yes, I do have the right measurements over here. If I just pop this here. And then knock this out so we can put this there. And I'm gonna leave that hollow there because I like having extra stone for filling in gaps. And if I try to fill in that... Actually, I'm gonna fill in that gap. It's annoying me. It's annoying me. It will annoy me forever if I do not fill this in now. So I'm going to fill this in now. No, that needs to be filled up too. I saw that. I saw that. I'm just going to torch that actually. That's just getting torched. That is getting torched. Great. However, th this here is going to get filled up. There we go. There we go. Nice and solid chunk. Perfect. Perfect. 
Okay, and I just ran out of deep slate. Panic. I need more deep slate. I need more deep slate, please. And also a lantern while I'm here. A lantern would be helpful. Probably two lanterns, actually, because then it can be symmetrical. Okay, where is my- here is my deep slate. I have deep slate. That is good. Do I have a lantern? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where are my lanterns? I don't have any more lanterns! How on earth did I manage to use up all of my lanterns? I never thought that I would use up all of my lanterns. That just sounds absolutely impossible. I had so many lanterns at one point. How did I use them all up? I'm betting I accidentally just left my lanterns at my house or something, and I'm going to find a stack of them in some future date. You have two stacks of deep slate that I can have in your house if I need. You've got like two full on double chests of deep slate that I just steal from if I need deep slate admin. As 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 much as it's great that you're giving me permission, I actually never waited for permission. I just kind of stole anyways. So So um not 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 sure how we're going to proceed from that. That's cobble deep slate. I I can just turn deep slate I can just turn Cobble Deep Slate right into the tiles, actually. See? Ta-da! Ta-da! I actually don't think you can do anything with smooth Deep Slate. Like, deep sl proper Deep Slate. I don't think you can actually do anything with it. It's actually kind of useless, I think. Not sure of- I'm not sure, of course. I don't really use Deep Slate a lot, since it's a pain in the butt to mine. Like, an absolute pain in the butt. It takes forever to mine. So, I, I, really, I really don't know that much about its building and crafting qualities, unfortunately. As much as I pride myself as having the most random breadth of knowledge ever, I, I, I don't know, unfortunately. Okay, let's move our barrel to a different spot over here. We can get our barrel. Just barrel, ba thank you. And then I'm gonna put it inside of the wall here, because this is where we're gonna put our brewing stand. And let's put down our door so that we can actually have room to pick us up. Thank you! And time to build ourselves a brewing stand at a crafting table that is upstairs! Of course, of course, of course, of course, our craft table our crafting table is over here. There we go. We now have a bubble. Bubble. A bubble. We have a bubble. Okay, let's go put the bubble over here. And we have a bubble. Perfect. And then over here, we can have water at some point. Not yet, of course, because we still need to put this door over here. And let's tuck the door inside of here and then put... Let's put the... Do I... Did I... Where did I... What did I do with the dark oak planks that I stole out of here? I had to break dark oak planks to get that. Okay, well, you know what? You know what? Since, since I lost the dark oak planks that I needed for that anyways, why don't we just make ourselves another spruce door? Please tell me I have spruce wood here somewhere. Do I have no spruce wood? How do I have no spruce wood? What the heck? What the heck? I have absolutely zero spruce wood and I have somehow messed up my hotbar to extreme proportions. What on earth is happening to- what has happened to my hotbar? It is so dead. It just died. It just instantly died. It's- it- it was viciously murdered. It was murdered by the unorganization monster. Okay, perfect. I now have two logs. This is helpful. This is helpful. Okay, and now I hope this is actually enough to make a door, because I don't actually know. Let's- I can't steal the crafting table. I DON'T HAVE ENOUGH INVENTORY SPACE! Ah! Wait, actually, I do. I do. I do have enough inventory space to steal the crafting table. I just need to use my offhand. Ha ha! I I am just packing so much right now. I feel. I feel. I feel like this. I feel like I should not be doing this. Just, why did I bring so much stuff? Okay, and let's put this here, and then we'll have water in there underneath the slab, and it'll be fine. Either that or a stair. Either works for me. Doesn't really matter to me. Okay, let's drop off stuff that we don't need inside of the fish box. Stuff that I'm going to be using for brewing. There we go. All fixed up. Now we have slightly, slightly more inventory space. Not much more, but slightly more. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Next step. Next step is to probably get ourselves a slab here so I can have water in there. 
And let's actually let's actually start some stuff. I forgot to bring nether wart and glass bottles. I need a lot of glass bottles, honestly. Okay, so let's make spruce door here. Make a spruce door. If I can actually make the door and not just pretend to. Thank you. There we go. Spruce door and perfect. Now I can just pop through here. It doesn't it doesn't look pretty. It doesn't look pretty, but hey, it's fine. It's fine. It works. It works. And I'm just gonna go for slabs because I don't want to make stairs. Because stairs requires me to get even more wood on the go. Which I realized I would have had to do anyways. Because I need to do the ceiling. Although this way I can do part of the ceiling in slabs. Hey, hey, hey. Although actually that's like, oh, that's actually a much better idea than what I was thinking. I am gonna make stairs. I am gonna make stairs because the stairs actually look slightly better. The stairs look slightly better. Okay, and if we just make stairs brutally, thank you. And now we can use slabs for the ceiling because then we don't need to spend as much wood. Press G for nine more storage slots. Shush, admin. Shush. We we all know that you're a shulk, but we all know that I'm a B, and B is better. Say it with me, everyone. B is better. B is better. Admin, admin, you, you, there will come a day when you will recognize that the B is just better. There is no, there is no world in which the B is not better, simply because the B is. The B is. Okay, and let's fill all this in. And then take out this area here. And then we should be all good to go. No! No! I still need even more slabs. What the heck? What the heck? Why- why is there so many slabs necessary for this? Why is it doing this to me? Why is it doing this to me? Okay, keep on going then. Keep on going then. Just keep on going. Alright then, another batch of slabs. And hopefully- oh no, we're- we're gonna have slabs stuck forever. Lovely. And I broke one of my only sources of light. Lovely. Great! Great, that is all good. This should be all still act good enough lit up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Everything is above. Okay, great, 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 great. We ignore the screenshot. It's fine. It's fine. We ignore it. Okay, next step is to drop off all of this extra stuff I have now collected inside of my... Can I oh, I can take this out, and now I can put this here. Oh, I just realized my mistake. That was a mistake. We take that down so, so, so fast, please. Okay, great. Oh, slabs aren't whole blocks. Will a light source above the slabs shine through? I don't think that it will. I think that they fixed that. I think that they fixed that little trick. Okay, we're gonna keep the dirt because I still need to make my mushroom room. Still need to make the mushroom room, so let's go do that real quickly. And drop this off. Don't need it, 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 don't need it. Still need this. Don't need- I'll keep this for the dine. oh no, I already have dynamic lights there. Sweet! Okay, let's go deal with this. I should have done this a while back, honestly, because then the mycelium could have been spreading while I worked. But I was dumb and I did not. Okay, then so past here, we are going to have a nice little mycelium farm. Well, this one actually is less of a mycelium farm. We do have a- It was supposed to be specifically a mycelium farm inside of our basement, but then it turned into a mushroom farm because I didn't have a mushroom farm. But now with this, this is going to be specifically meant for mushrooms. If we can just get mycelium starting to grow. There we go. There, while that's growing, we can make more space as well as actually knock this out first. And actually put that back so we can have the doors along here so it not blocks out at least some of the light. Because this area, I'm pretty sure that it needs to be relatively dark. It needs to be pretty dark in order for mushrooms to grow, I do believe. So we are going to actually just block this off with these. And then I'll just break those whenever I want to come in. Great. And then we're going to add in the slabs can barely see. This is great. I just- I just love stumbling around in the dark, barely able to see- can, does this actually- 
<gasps> Does this actually count as light? <gasps> it doesn't count as light. It only changes my display so I can do this and not affect the mycelium. I'll be fine. Ah, oh, this is great. This is glorious. This is amazing. Okay, and then we just can make like a really lengthy mushroom farm because I brought a lot of dirt. I brought so much dirt in preparation for this. Did not bring a lot of mycelium though because I did not have a lot. Which was bad planning on my part. But here we are. Here we are. Alright then, and let's grab some more small pebble rocks. And block this area off. Perfect! Now this should be enough considering all I really wanted... All I really want is mushrooms. And I won't need... I actually won't need any once we get a villager that sells weakness arrows. So, we actually can just start getting this all geared up to go as soon as I go get my nether wart, and did I, I did not build it back. That could have been bad. Okay. Let's drop off the water here, then we can go back and get ourselves a stone slab as well as refill my water bucket, and get ourselves nether wart. Which is good, since I, th I thought I was gonna have to make an entire different trip to fill up my water bucket, but what do you know? I, I forgot to get nether wart anyways. Nice. Feeling smart. Feeling smart. Okay, let's fly back, see if I have any brown mushrooms that happened to grow while I was away. Because I really don't have that many brown mushrooms and they're kind of important. I just realized that- Wait a moment, can I- Can I bone meal a brown mu- Can I bone meal mushrooms on mycelium? Can I bone meal them to get myself- I'm realizing that I am incredibly dumb. You can bone meal mushrooms, can't you, to get mushroom trees? Okay, so if I run out of mushrooms, I have found a plan, so I'll just do that if need be. But for now, currently, I still do have quite a few mushrooms laying around, so we should be good if we use those. And see, there we go, our mushroom has already grown. Oh, that is, that is still grass. I thought that would grow by now. Guess not. Guess my mycelium is actually very slow at growing. I thought it was relatively fast. Like, I thought it was really fast. Guess not. Just guess not. Maybe it can only grow on dirt. Because I, I know for certain that it grows on dirt. Huh. Huh. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm just dumb. Okay, and let's get up here. And there we go. We now have a singular mushroom. Very, very helpful. And if we go in here, we can grab ourselves plenty and plenty of nether. <gasps> we also have bad spider eyeballs laying around. That's perfect. And let's also grab ourselves some soul sand, because then I can grow this also at- Oh. Oh. Oh! Thank you, admin! Okay, well now I actually have a lot of nether wards, so I think I'll only bring, like, one soul sand block, because I really, really do not need any more- That was incredibly loud, because I'm underground. I really don't need any more now that I have this, but I feel weird not having a nether wart farm at any sort of brewing area. Okay, let's see. Next spot that we need is one of these. Perfect. And then we're actually all good to go if we just head right back to our trading hall. I also have glass already over there, thanks to the amazingness of trading. And I can turn all of that into glass bottles. And then those glass- ouch, that was a tree! And then those glass bottles can be used to make all my potions. And then we're actually- Ah, That was a hill! Okay, there we go. And that's just- I don't have a craft table up here anymore. Lovely. Okay, and then we can actually start trucking around our villagers and converting them. Wow, this is actually- this is actually getting very, very close to the go time stage. Like, we're actually- we're actually almost there. I'm, like, slightly terrified. I am- actually, scratch that, I'm more than slightly terrified. Something is definitely going to go wrong. Something is 100% definitely going to go wrong. I'm waiting for it. Okay, let's fill up a couple of bottles. And then we dump them all in here. There we go, and then we put in the icky nether wart, and... Then we have to turn this into blaze powder. And start it going! Alright then, so first thing we need to do is make a potion of strength, and... <gasps> I forgot to get gunpowder. That is what I needed. I needed gunpowder. I needed gunpowder and golden apples, actually, honestly. I still need quite a bit. 
I think I have gold here. I think I have gold here, though, as well as- Do I have much gold here? I do have lots of gold here. Okay, so I have gold here. I can buy apples from the farmers. And then what else do I need that I forgot about? I need the gunpowder, and I also want to bring redstone. Because if I have a long weakness- Although, no, because I should still- I should- I'll have plenty of time. I'll have plenty of time. I, w I won't need to make- I don't need to make the potions longer. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, I say. Famous last words, I say. Okay. Let's get gunpowder. Do I have more over here? Ooh, I don't have a lot of gunpowder. I, pro I probably should have just gotten it from the admin's mob farm. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this here and get myself gunpowder from the admin's mob farm. Okay, great. Great, 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 great. Do I still have everything I need? Okay, I think I still have everything I need. Great. Great. Have I said great too many times? Probably. Okay, 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 okay. Let's head back. And yeah, there we go. There's the Ammon's mob farm. Let's just grab ourselves gunpowder if I can just not die while coming in. Thank you. And gunpowder. All right, then. Let's just grab all 26 of this gan powder. And it's great. It's great. Okay. And then we can just run over the trading hall. It's not that far. I'm not going to use a rocket on it just for this little distance. And voila, we're here. And admin just inside of my trading hall. All right, then. Okay, then. Just, there's an admin inside of my trading hall. All right, then. Okay, and how is this doing? Okay, there we go. We got awkward potions. Let's dump in blaze powder. Yeah, there we go. Yep, wrong spot. Blaze powder, go in. Trading. Yeah, I, I kind of gathered, admin. I, I would be quite concerned if you weren't here for trading. I'd be very, very concerned if you weren't here for trading. Okay, there we go. Let's put the icky nether wart there, as well as the glass bottles and the gunpowder. How is this doing? Okay, it's doing great. Let's grab the fermented spider eye for next. There we go. It's good. Eh. 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 What? This, this is the weakness potion recipe. Did it change? Did they- Did they change the weakness potion recipe? Did, did they change the weakness potion recipe? I think that they changed the weakness potion recipe. Darn it! Okay, so I have no idea what the weakness potion recipe is. Admin! Admin, I need you! Admin! Yeah, admin! Can you please search up the weakness potion recipe for me, please? I'm hoping that was a yes. I barely heard any of that. <laughs> we're, we're gonna say that that was a yes. That was definitely a yes. That was a yes. Yay! Okay. That's the great, that's great, that's great, that's great, that's great. Admin is going to get us the weakness potion recipe. So while they're doing that, I am going to ensure that we have plenty and plenty of golden apples. Okay, let's see. And also we can probably start getting ourselves zombie villagers ready. Although no, because villagers don't despawn, but zombie villagers do. So we're only going to get those when we're completely ready to go. Okay, so let's grab ourselves iron, so we can get ourselves emeralds. Because I don't want to use my gold to get emeralds, considering the fact that I desperately need it for my apple, for my golden apples. Okay, and we just buy up all of this, and buy up a bit more, and so many emeralds. Feeling great. Feeling great. Okay, nice! Nice, 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 nice! Fermented spider eye and what? And what? What what do you add the fermented spider eye to? Cause I know that I know that it used to be strength. That's why I made a strength potion. It it, it used to be strength or regeneration plus a fermented spider eye. I remember that. Oh, just water bottles. Oh, so they must they, they must have made it cheaper then when I guess when training halls became really really popular. I guess that's probably when they made it cheaper. Cool, so apparently it's a lot cheaper than I thought it was. Cool, yeah, I was totally prepared to have to do strength potion or regeneration potion, and then adding on a fermented spider eye, but no, that's that's a lot cheaper. 
That is a lot cheaper on me. And now I have three extra strength potions that I have no idea what to do with. Great. Feeling great. Okay. Let's pop back. We now have a stack of apples. That's amazing. And great. Let's go start brewing up a weakness potion then. Not a strength potion. That is absolutely zero use. Okay. Let's pop through here and... Grab ourselves our glass bottles, make three of them. That was three, right? That was, yeah, that was three. There we go. And what? Oh, yeah, just go straight in. It just goes straight in. It's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, next step is golden apples. Let's make a whole bunch of them, actually. <gasps> Need to use ingots? Need to use ingots? I thought it was nuggets. I thought it was nuggets. Oh no, that 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 must be the melons. That's the melons, isn't it? Okay, so this just became a lot more expensive than I thought. Oh no! Oh no, this just became a whole lot more expensive than I thought it was gonna be. Oh boy. Okay, well then, on that lovely note, Let's start pushing villagers to their imminent doom, then, shall we? Seems like a good plan. Seems like a good plan. Let's dump off stuff that's just cluttering up our inventory. Have more space. There we are. There we are. Feeling great. Feeling great. All right, then. All right, then. I guess it is time to, well, like I said, start sending off these villagers to imminent doom. Great. Okay, let's start with the ones on the track, because they're probably preventing the breeding villagers. So if I just... No, wrong way! Wrong way! Other way! Other way! Thank you! Yeah, you just go this way. Go this way. And then I need to change the course of the track here. Not here. Here, so I can get the librarian to safety. Not that way! Heaven forbid you go- th Oh, they're all sleeping. Okay, lovely. Lovely. Just be gone. Be gone. All of you, be gone. Thank you. And then if you go that way, go that way. Thank you. Okay, let's just push this guy in the way of the zombie. Come on, ankle bitter. Guy's right there. Bruh. Bruh. You bit me when I was here. Ouch, jerk! How did he give me weakness? Okay, hey, apparently zombies give you weakness in hard mode when they hit you. Why did- why did that guy- why did he not hit the villager? Okay, so I'm gonna leave the villager there for a slightly longer time and see if eventually he bites him. Okay, yeah, no, you go right here. You go right there. Yeah, you stay there. Ankle bitter should eventually bite you there. Ankle biter will get him. Okay, so while they're doing that, let's tuck these apples away into the back area. There we go. And that too. Okay, great. So why aren't you getting bit? Why aren't you getting bit? Why aren't you getting- Why aren't you getting bit? Okay, so we might have to come up with a different plan in order to do this. And... Actually, what am I- Okay, let's- We have a trap door here, so I can use that mechanic. Yeah, let's- Let's see, let's use- Let's use the trap door mechanic. If we grab ourselves more planks, apparently. Where are more planks? I have no more planks. Okay, well, I have dark oak slabs. They can- the, I can use the dark oak slabs for something. Okay, yeah, ankle- Ankle- Ankle biter is not biting the ankles of this villager. Please be gone. Thank you. Bye. Okay, and let's put the... Let's take out these rails. And put this here. This here. So now Ankle Biter can't escape. Yep, Ankle Biter cannot escape. Almost freaked me right out there when he walked forwards, but we're fine. We're fine. And then we can slide the villager right along here. Into that little corner there. Have the powered rail here. There we go. And that'll slide them right off into there. And then this should hopefully allow the villager to get bitten easier. Everything is about the easier. Come on, let's go. 
Let's go, good sir. Off the- down the rails, down the rails, off you go. Fare thee well, have a nice life, hasta la vista, all that great jazz. Bye-bye, farewell. Ow, jerk! Okay, this is... This is not going according to plan. This is not going according to plan! Villager isn't even panicking, bro! Well, I guess I wouldn't know if he was panicking, honestly. He, he, he can't really run around. Maybe if I take him off the rail? Maybe off the rail? No? Just- OW! Bruh! Bruh! What is going on? Why is this guy not getting eaten alive? Does he maybe need to, like, be in the same spot as the zombie? That's good. That'll be hard to do, actually. That'll be really hard to do. I really don't want to have to do that. I really don't want to have to do that, but if I, if I have to, I will. If I have to, I will. Gosh darn it, I will. Okay, well, I still have all the supplies, actually, so we can just do that right now. I, I need a couple more rails, though, if I'm going to do that. Let's grab some more rails. There we go. And also, we'll need to make more trap doors, honestly, I think. Nah, I, I should be able to use slabs. I should be able to use slabs. No, trap doors will be better, because then it won't take damage. Okay, let's go get ourselves some dark oak wood so I can make myself the proper colored trap doors. Here we go. Time to murder some trees. Feeling great. Why did it go back down to easy? Why why did the admin have to change that back? Oh, so I got rebooted? Oh my gosh! Is that why it wasn't working? Does that mean that ankle biter could have worked the way that ankle biter was? Because now ankle biter. <gasps> oh. Okay. Okay, so I think I think that I think that ankle biter must have killed, must have turned the villager into a zombie villager, and then it must have despawned. Is that that's what I'm hoping? I'm hoping that Ankle Biter isn't just murdering the villagers. They're supposed to turn into zombie villagers. This 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 might go completely off counter off plan. Hopefully, hopefully not. Okay, um, attempt number two then. Sh attempt number two. Let's just move this back onto here then, shall we? Yeah, attempt number two. Let's send in the next test subject. Um, I mean, um, valued villager. Let's send this guy along. Come on, come on, on the rails. There you go. There you go. Come along now. Come along now. Off you get. And now we test it out. Just scoot this a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back to the setup we had before, where ankle biter was on the same level as the villagers. No! I forgot the trap door. Panic! 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 Please survive. Thank you. Panic slightly resolved. Okay, so we have a problem in the fact that this guy has a sword. Okay! Okay, wait a moment. I can actually fix this really quickly. Um, minecart. Do, 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 do. Wrong way! Wrong way! No! 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 There we go. Okay. Okay. Ah! <laughs> this is not going according to plan! This is falling apart! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have it under control. It's all under control. Kind of. Slightly. Not really. It's fine. It's fine. It's under control now. It is under control now, at least. Crap, where'd he go? There he is. 
No, go that way. Thank you. Oh boy, this is gonna take so this is gonna take so much food. He is so hard. Move it. Move it. Just move. Keep going. Go, go. I can't even really body slam him because he gives me slowness. This is not pleasant. Okay, scoot. Okay. That hurts so much. Okay, next step is we fill in all the area here. Here. Everywhere we possibly can to make sure that he doesn't, like, teleport into another spot. This is the only viable space you can exist, good sir. Now go that way, please. Let's use water to push him that way. There we go. And now he can't go this way. Perfect! Awesome. Now we have Ankle Biter in a position where he doesn't have to be an Ankle Biter. Great. Oh my goodness gracious, this was a pain in the butt. I am hoping that this works this time. Please, I swear, if this does not work, I am out of ideas. Well, I still have one more idea, but it's an extraordinarily bad idea that I don't want to have to do. Server.properties fixed. I'm not sure what that means. Hoping that that means that this works now, though. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. There you- Ow! How can- Why are you hitting me but not the villager? The villager is right there! Maybe, maybe it needs to recognize that I'm not here. Maybe. Maybe he needs to think that I'm not here. <gasps> there we go! He just needed to think I wasn't here. Be gone. Okay, I almost died in those two seconds. Feeling great. I'm feeling great right now. Okay, let's put this along here and let's send him off to the last cubicle and get him all ready to go. Okay, I actually can't get up here now. That's a problem. How am I supposed to get up to my brewing area now? Okay, there we go. Let's grab ourselves our one of our splash weakness potions. And a golden apple, which is also up here. There we go. And I I thought about doing like all three villagers at once, but that is not happening. So um thank you very much, but that's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're just we're just gonna do one at a time as per Moje intended. There we go. Now one of them is going. Alright, so while that one is going. Let's- let's get this going. Let's get this all going. Let's send in the next- let's send in the next patient. That- wait, is that, Can I really call myself a doctor if I'm the one making them sick? I'm the one making them sick, and then I make them better. Okay. Let's reroute the tracks. So that this next one goes straight into there. And let's grab the next- let's grab this one straight from the breeder. So that hopefully we can have more villagers- being born as I'm stealing from their populace. Come on, out. Out of the bed. Out of the bed. Come on. This is really annoying to do when it is nighttime. This is, like, really annoying to do when it's nighttime. There we go. We got one. We got a guy. Okay, be gone. Be gone. Thank you. Alright, nice. And then we just send this one all the way down, and... There we go. Wait for that guy. We gotta go out here. Let me just sit and we listen. There we go. And dead. Okay. Is that on or off? I think that's on. Nope, that must be off. Move along. Thank you. Okay, that guy is in there. Pick this back up. Put that back. Yeah, it was mine! Okay, well, apparently all zombie villagers can just steal from you. Alright then, just slowly losing all my stuff. Is he gonna drop that when he turns into a villager? I'm hoping so. I like my rails. They're slightly helpful. Okay. There we go. Alright, I have one- I have one more spot for a villager. If I just once again reroute the rail. 
And remember that the lever, I turned it to off. It is off currently. Let's grab ourselves an extra minecart and go steal another villager. All right then, all right then, all right then, all right then. Next villager. Okay, and hello, 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 villagers. Please, no, no, I, I did not mean to set my spawn point. I have done it again, okay. Up, 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 all of you, get up. Get, what are better are you even sleeping on, child? You're sleeping on this bed? No, up. Up. Get get in the minecart. Get in the mine get in the minecart. Get in the mine get in the minecart. Somebody get in the minecart. There is a minecart. Please. It's a great place. Promise. Promise. Not not saying that I'm good at keeping promises, but it's it's great. It's it's great. It's a great place. Just up. Get up, get in the minecart. Get in the minecart, please! Somebody in the minecart. Ah, they're all on the beds. Come on, in the, in the, ah! This is painful. At this point, I might as well just sleep. I've already set my spawn point like 1400 times. Okay, somebody get in the minecart now. Thank you! Okay, I don't think a villager has converted yet, otherwise I would have gone zombie doctor, so this is definitely taking a lot longer than I thought it would go. Well, I knew I knew that I knew that converting villagers takes a while, but not this long. Scooting back out of the way. Apparently, apparently the zombie is just shy. Okay, there we go. Turn on the rail. Send away those bad human. There we go. And grab ourselves the weakness potion. Last one, as well as the golden apple. All right. And then all three of these guys are going to be Fletchers, in the hopes that we can get a weakness arrow, so that we won't have to continue brewing potions endlessly. There we go, because as much as, much as I now have a mushroom farm and all that great jazz, I will run out of spider eyes eventually. And, because spider, spiders don't die in the mob farm very often, and then on top of that, spider eyes are very, very rare. So, I really want to get a weakness arrow dude eventually. That would be incredibly helpful. Hopefully. One day. Maybe. Okay, let's reroute this. And let's actually just head it off to here. And, awesome. Great. And then I'll just know that I can send these, send these people out when it's ready. Awesome! Okay, now that we have that all done, now while we're waiting for those guys to transform, I'm gonna go track down- <gasps> Zombie medic, OMGG bro, nice! Okay, let's get this guy- Hey, look at that, he did, they did actually drop his stuff, awesome! Okay, I'm gonna send this guy over here, and I'm going to reroute this track over here, and I'm gonna send this guy right into the very first cubicle- Right here. Very first guy to go into the new area. Very first guy. It's gonna be great. Okay, come on, villager bro. You got this. Down you get. Be gone! Ha ha! And now it's time to grab our fletching table. And then we also need to get ourselves new trap doors. If I can find trap door, I have birch slabs. That would technically work. Hmm. Okay, what trap doors do I want to use for that downstairs area? I actually want to use warped wood, and since I have warped wood down here, that actually works great for me. So this is gonna be great. Let's make ourselves another crafting table, and... Warped planks, and some warped trap doors. No! Stop it! There we go, and now warped trap doors. Put this back, put this here, and fletching tables. I know I made them at some- there we go, I got them. I got them. Okay, now we can go and put this guy down here, and all the way down we go. Here we are. Hello, 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 good sir. Let's chop out the rail here and knock out the minecart. Ah! And then fletching table, and he's a fletcher now, and okay, he's got the he's got the stick tray. That's perfect. That's perfect. So if I go grab my jungle wood. I can get that guy all leveled up using jungle wood, which I have a ton of. So I just go grab that real quickly. And then we just need to start actually leveling up 
a whole bunch of Fletchers to master. Oh, that's gonna take a while. That is gonna take a while. Admittedly, it will be slightly cheaper to do now that they're all going to be zombified. Oh boy. Does this mean that all my other villagers are going to give me better trades because I have a zombie doctor achievement? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know that the ones who are cured give the best, but I think you get a small, a small discount for being a zombie doctor. I'm gonna just give her all these. There we go. I have. Why do I have so many children inside of that hole? Oh my goodness gracious! There are so many children within that hole, and I am eventually going to have to purge some of them. And I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. Let's head down to the basement after we steal, after we go and steal another one of the villagers from the trading hall and get it all zombified and curing, then I can be happy. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello, hello, hello! Who's ready for a voyage? Where are you going? Someone just tried to leave. There's a trap door. Where are you? Stop it! Let me kidnap your friend! Why are you stopping me from kidnapping your friend? Excuse me, princess! Just let- let me kidnap your friend! Thank you! Thank you! Okay, that's fine, great. We finally managed to kidnap somebody. Did not realize that kidnapping somebody was so hard! Okay, while well, we're looking- Hey, look, that guy's cured now! That's great! That's great! Okay, let's go get this stick trade started. Oh boy, um, I have an interesting inventory dilemma currently. Oh boy, um, panic! Okay, here we go. From all the way over here. There we go. There we go. We got this worked out. We got this all worked out. We got this worked out. Great. Okay, now we need to reroute this so we go into the next area so we can take another villager into here great there we go and next 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 unzombified villager can peace out down here okay we're actually gonna need another one okay let's let's reroute this guy into here quickly off you get out jerk okay let's get that guy curing up if we just pop over here and Forgot to add in the gunpowder. Doing that now. Sweet, that's going. Great. Next step is we can just steal these two guys here. If we just attach them into here and make sure that it's facing the right way. It would be an absolute, absolute horrific, horrific area if they went right past that guy again. Would not be very fun. Okay, and let's make a turn this way. There we go. Wait a moment. Can I- can you- can you use a lever to f change the direction of a rail? I think you can! Could I make this an odd- can I make this- can I use levers to change up this whole area? I actually might be able to do that now, I realize. That makes it a lot easier. I can actually actually make this work. That's bizarre. Okay, we're gonna have to look into that later, but currently we're working on this, so... Let's send this guy into the next free cubicle. And there we go. That's the next free cubicle. Free, go free, be free, be free, child. There you are. Well, I guess not really free, is it? Enjoy the rest of your life here, bud. Great. Okay, and then we plop down the fletching table, and awesome! Now we can go start that other guy curing. And then we just pop up here. Here we are. Let's grab one of these and one of these. And then let's get it going. There we go, that guy's going while they while he's transferring. Let me head back down here and stick trade, let's go. Okay, how much does this level up? I need to check how much that still levels up. Um, how much does this level up still? Oh, that's still that's still a decent amount. That's actually not very good. Oh dear. Huh, we have now reached a problem. Alright then. Well, now that we've reached that problem, let's turn this area into a storage area real quick. Uh, no! The water reappears! Darn it! I hate the water so much! 
The water has been my nemesis since the day of my birth. That's a slight over-exaggeration. Okay, let's grab this. Oh, why is this area all dark? Why is this area all dark? That could have been an immense problem. Dude, that could have just, like, murdered my villain. Actually, they technically couldn't have trapdoors for a reason, but... Th it's the principle of it! Okay, fine. There we go. There we go. Let's grab all this out, and then we can get ourselves barrels... And turn this into a storage area so that we can get our villagers all leveled up. Okay, we got this. We got this. Let's jump back over here. I should have to deal with that grass block at some point. It's just kind of been sitting there and I've kind of just been jumping past it every single time, just ignoring it. Should probably deal with it eventually. I don't want to though. Okay, let's head back to my house, see if we have any barrels laying around. I think I have one maybe. Although I also have, I believe I have some slabs and planks laying around that I can use to make more. I believe that I need 12 of them, if I'm correct. Which I'm not usually, so we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, over here. Or any ch I guess chests would also work, but I would really prefer barrels. So we're gonna do- right, yeah, I got one barrel and a big inventory clutter. Okay, yeah, looks like I don't have any slabs, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to make some. Oh, never mind, you have some sound and sound inventory, so that's helpful. And barrels. How many more can I make? I can make five more. Six more. There we go. And then I make this. And then barrel. Yay! And then make a whole bunch of planks. And then barrels. Yay! And then I still need a whole bunch more. Yay! Okay, um, I think I need, you know, six slabs should be good for all the barrels I need, actually. And barrels! Done! Awesome! That's actually all of it. That's amazing. That's great. That's great. And that's actually exactly... Oh my gosh! I actually managed to get rid of every single slab I had! Bruh! It was... It was a perfect number! That never happens! That never happens! That's amazing! I'm like so... I am so happy right now! Like, this is amazing. Okay, yeah, that guy's still curing. Let's leave him be. Okay. And then we just pop all this in, and... Ooh, I forgot about that. Uh, let's just grab some blocks from here, actually. There we go. And voila. Perfect. Great. And then I just had all the back in this. Ah, da, 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 oh, no. I needed one more. Okay, I don't need that much. Actually, I'll just top that off. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Nothing's wrong. Let's also lock this guy's stick trade in, and I don't have a trap door down here. I'll make a, I'll make another trap door for this guy, and actually, let's make a whole bunch of trap doors, and then I can line the hall with them. Great, and down here, let's see. Ah, there we go. We got some planks, and trap door time. Let's go. Trap door time. Let's go. There we go. Eight trap doors. Let's pop this back here, and voila! Perfection. And then this actually should be enough for both sides. Oh, no, I think I'm, I'm missing two. I'm missing two to be completely done, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm missing two. No, there's no way that math is correct. No, that math is correct. That math is correct. I'm missing two. Oh my goodness gracious, that math was correct. This has absolutely blown my brain that I got it right first try. There's no possible way. Bruh. Okay, there we go. That guy's going there and perfect. Great, now we're this guy. Let's grab ourselves some bows. I don't have enough inventory space for this. Let's put the wood in here. And then put the stone back inside of the wall so I don't need to deal with it. Thank you. And then we still have sticks inside of our inventory. Let's put the tracks and the minecarts in here so they're out of the way. And then, awesome, great. Now we can go buy ourselves some bows from this guy so we can get them leveled up. And now we've really just got to do this until we get a weakness villager. Which hopefully shouldn't take too long. Really crossing my fingers on this one. I don't want to be here for absolutely ever. That would not be appreciated. This guy leveled up. This guy's not leveled up. Yeah, let's get him leveled up. Let's get him leveled up. There we go. And that guy has arrows for us. Let's see if we can get ourselves the stick trade. I would appreciate the stick trade slightly more, actually. Thank you. How about now? Is he a stick trade now? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nope. Attempt number three. 
There we go. And he's bow as well. That's helpful. Okay, now it's string for crossbow. Okay, how much is this? Oh, that still levels him up pretty good. That's more though. So let's get let's get crossbows. Let's get crossbows. And perfect. And there we go. And then voila. Great. Is this guy an expert? Okay, he's still an expert, which means we still have a little bit more to go. Okay, let's get a couple more of these. Yeah. Oh, it's three for one. Okay. <sighs> and then he ran out of stock, of course. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, and checking back on this guy. All right, then. All right, then. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so how's this guy? Hey, look at that. The stick trade. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to get these guys all leveled up in no time. I wonder if my other zombie is healed yet. Let's go check down. Let's go check on him. Let's go check on him after we put the rails in the right place. Okay, there we go. We can go. Oh. Never mind, that's not prepared yet. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's just send him into here then, where it is prepared. Nice. Okay, and then we can send him down, hopefully. Yes, there we go, he is cured. Let's go, let's go, be gone. Be free, my friend. Be free. Enter the world of living in a cubicle for the rest of your life. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Okay, well now he's inside of his cubicle nice and happily. Let's just leave him there and just boink. There we go. And awesome. Pick up a stick trade, please. I love the stick trade. And I did lock that guy in. We're good. And over here, I need to get feathers in order to do that trade. Let's get ourselves some feathers. Because then I can also get some emeralds out of this as well. Because unfortunately, this is going to be a pretty expensive thing. Even with all of the villagers being at ultimate discount mode. It is still going to be expensive to do this. I wonder if I can discount them even further by getting Hero of the Village. What if I could do that? Although I, I, I really wouldn't want to do that because I don't like fighting raids. I, sh I, I have had, I've, I had a miserable experience with a raid way early on in the game once, and I am very much put off of raids for the rest of my life after that. So we're just we're just we're just gonna happily chill with just our zombie villager conversion magic. Okay, let's just do the two feather. Oh dear, I ran out of inventory space. Can I actually? Oh yes, I can. Let's go. Let's go. I have learned an ultimate trick. I will never. I will definitely forget that trick. But please say that somebody saw that amazingness. I managed to save inventory space that way. That was glorious. Okay, this is a master, and he does not have any elemental arrows. This is taking a lot longer. I wanted to say, like, dramatically silent for this, but it's taking forever. Definitely silent the whole time. Nothing happened. Okay, attempt number two! Let's see if this guy... Let's see if this guy sells what we need. Come on, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need... I need... I need magical arrows. Very descriptive, I know. I, I, need, I need the magical weakness arrows. Exactly the weakness arrows. Nothing other than the weakness arrows will work for me, please. Otherwise... Well, actually, any, 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 any elemental arrow would actually be appreciated, because I need to collect all of them anyways, but, yeah, yeah, I appreciate not having to burn another person. Just thinking out loud here, burning people isn't, isn't the greatest. Okay, I'm just gonna have so many crossbows by the end of this. Like, so many crossbows, it's not even funny. Okay, let's grab feathers next, because I believe that they actually leveled them up faster. And I get emeralds out of it, so that's nice. Yeah, there we go. That's only, like... I only have to do this trade, like, four times, so... That's a lot better. There we go. Perfect! Although, this also requires the admin's chickens getting, like, murdered, so... Yeah. Well, we can always uh, make our own murder chicken farm. Wait a moment. Is that slowness? Oh, it's not slowness! It's not weakness! Oh, that's annoying! However, turtle boss actually works anyway, so... Nice! Nice! We... 
We now have at least one elemental arrow guy. Of course, not really elemental, but magical arrow. I don't know why it's elemental. Okay, let's grab ourselves lots and lots of planks. And then lots and lots and lots of sticks. So many sticks. And we begin trading with this guy. Hello, bro. Let's grab ourselves some sticks. There we go. And then is this guy stick trade? Please stick trade. Yeah, let's go. Stick trade. Woohoo, stick trade. Yay. Okay, and this guy's bow trade now. Yay! Okay, and should I be, I should, uh, should I maybe start another guy inside of I should probably start another batch of changing villagers. I should probably do that. I say as I don't. Okay, and let's dump off some more bows here. And yeah, I'm 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 gonna go I'm gonna go get uh, I'm gonna go get a couple more villagers changing. Okay, yeah, let's set this up. Let's set this up. Um, boink, 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 boink. Remove. Boink, boink, boink. There we go. And let's get the setup to go into the first one. Great. Awesome. Okay, now we can go and grab ourselves extra mine cards so we can go steal ourselves some villagers. Stealing villagers is great. Love stealing villagers. Oh my gosh, that was actually like the best timing ever. I literally came in here just as daytime began. Another guy in the mine. Please, one more person inside of a minecart, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, now we have two people that were kidnapping. And then we can kidnap one more because I have three cubicles meant for villagers turning into zombies. And I also know, I actually think I have two potions right now. Although if I want... Ouch. I can just push him with this guy, actually. I cannot push him with this guy. I cannot push him with this guy. Ah! There we go. We're free. Bye! Oh, no! Uh-oh. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. Well, actually, I think it would have been fine anyway. Just I would have had to be a little more creative about how to get the guy out. Once he was a villager. Once he was a zombie. Like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to make another self myself another golden apple somehow. Gonna have to get myself more gold. Don't think I have any more gold. I think I have some gold stocked up at my house. Let's go check that out real quick. I forgot to set up the next spot. Oh, no. There ah! I'm taking out the floor with me as I go. This is great. Ah! Wrong way! Wrong way! Don't go that way! This way! Ah! There we go. Okay, so that guy's just shaking. Okay, great. Okay, let's go get ourselves some more gold because I'm going to need more golden apples. I'm going to have to get AFK that gold farm, aren't I? I am definitely going to have to AFK that gold farm at some point. Okay, let's head back over here and... Great! We are now here, so let's pop up here and... I think I have some gold laying around inside the basement. Maybe it's on my ender chest, perhaps. Oh yeah, there we go, I got some gold. Not sure if this is all the gold I have in my entire life, but I guess we'll- I guess we'll figure that out eventually. Eventually we'll figure that out, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine! Although we do have plenty enough apples to last us for, hopefully, until we get- Actually, there. Actually, I probably will have to get more apples. I was thinking until we get a villager, but no villager sells golden apples. The only thing- the only villager that we're hoping to get from this- is a weakness arrow villager, so we don't need to keep brewing the potions. Huh. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, let's go get this next guy started. There we go. And then while they're converting, let's start the next set of potions. And perfect. And then while we're ready for that, we can go try to keep trading. Great! Great, let's go, let's go start- let's go keep trading. Hello, 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 you're already all good. How about you? Yeah, I need to get that, I need to get that. Um, how about you, bro? How you doing? Okay, I'm gonna do this guy because I have a slightly better feeling about this guy. I don't know. No idea why I feel this way, but I feel like this guy is gonna do better. Guess we'll see. This is- this is painful. I- I, I remember why I went to go stop is so that I could get more emeralds. Let's actually we get ourselves some more emeralds from our iron villagers. And then we can keep trading, because I don't want to waste my sticks, considering I need them to level up the first. 
level of Fletcher. Okay, and awesome. Let's grab ourselves plenty of emeralds. And great, feeling great, feeling great. I am so excited for when we get a weakness arrow villager, because then I'm not gonna have to keep brewing. And then actually, I just realized that then my entire brewing part of my building is completely useless, actually. Lovely. Lovely. Oh well, it only, it only took like 10 minutes to build anyway, so it, it, it should be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be worth it in the end. It'll be worth it not having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth during this time while I'm trying to get things converted. Okay, and then once I do have a weakness thing, I'll just have to make sure that I always have an unenchanted bow, as I usually do, and they'll be all good to go. Or I can actually, I can actually technically also use a dispenser. That would work great, too. Okay, let's get this guy all leveled up, and... And almost there, almost there, almost there. One more, there we go. Feeling great. I have so many bows. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with all of them. I think I actually might even- be, I think I also might be able to fill up my villager junk warehouse. Yeah, you- you heard right, my villager junk warehouse. I have- I have a giant storage area that I made exclusively for storing villager junk that I collected during all of my trading exploits. It's- it's- it's very intense. I thought that- I thought that it would- I thought I wouldn't be able to fill it up because it was- it's big. Got lots of storage. No. No, I think I'm- I think I'm gonna fill it up with this trading hall area alone. Okay, let's get ourselves more crossbows, get ourselves, like, six right off the get-go. Yeah, there we go. And then two should- yeah, there we go, leveled up. Perfect. And then we also need to grab ourselves the feathers, and I should definitely build a chicken murder farm at some point, because I currently have an egg farm, so as long- so I can actually hook that egg farm up to just a couple more dispensers, and I'll have my own chicken murder farm. And then I'll have extra feathers to sell for this. To get everyone all leveled up. Okay, and then this will be the master level, so I'll be able to see which of these guys are useful, which are not. In just a couple of seconds, gonna drop this stuff off. And let's go check it out, shall we? Wait, let's drop off this too. There we go. And let's see! First guy over here. That's slow, I believe. No, that's weakness! Yeah, that's- 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 that's slow. This is- This is weakness! Dude, this was literally the guy that I needed! This was my- This was literally my third villager! This was my third villager, that was it! I expected to be here for hours going through these villagers! That- Bro, that's insane! I'm, I'm- I'm not even mad that this guy has absolutely nothing. Like... That was abs- that's absolutely insane! This is the exact guy that I need! Like, this is insane! I don't need to brew anything anymore! Admittedly, I'm already brewing some, so I'll probably end their brewing thing first, but like... That's insane! I'm literally done! Bruh. Like, I I'm still gonna add in a whole bunch of Fletchers here so I can get one of every single type of arrow, but... That was the most important guy! Like, this is- this is- Everything else that I get is- Is literally just for the pure vanity of having every single arrow. Cause I really, really don't need... Magic arrows! I will- I will never use them. I'm gonna have- I'm gonna have them for the for just the bragging rights of having every single one, but... Get that- That's absolutely insane! That is absolutely insane! I got the weakness arrow! I have the weakness arrow! Like, bruh! Bruh! This is insane! Okay, let's knock this area, okay? Let's send these guys off, and... Right, yeah, you go. Be free. You too, good sir. Be free. And once they're down here, yeah, I can rewire the tracks so that the next one heads into here. If you just don't escape on me, please, sir. Come back. I have a different spot for you. Thank you. This way. 
But yeah, this guy's literally the weakness guy. Bruh! Bruh, that is literally the guy that I needed on my fourth try. There is no way. There is absolutely no way. I thought I'd have to go through like a hundred of them. I thought I was gonna have to go through like a hundred Fletchers before I got the guy. This is insane. Okay, well, let's get that all done with. And let's also get a guy into this spot. There we go. Perfect. Okay, 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 okay. And let's also get this sent up to here for next villager. And let's go set up the three next villagers that are going to get converted right after I start the next convert. Okay, I gotta turn these into splash. But yeah, I set up this entire room for three... I set up this entire room for three batches of potions, and that was it. Bruh. How is this room doing, actually? Ooh, that's not growing at all. That's actually, um, I don't know. I don't know what I did wrong there, but we're just not gonna talk about that. Okay, let's set this up so that the next villagers go straight into here. And great. There we go. Awesome. Let's go grab ourselves our three new villagers. And... Boink, 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 boink. There we go. And the three new villagers we're going to get from the trading for the breeding hall because then the breeding villagers can happily go on with their breeding once I have stolen their three companions after we. S what time? What time is it that I can't sleep but they can sleep? It's either very. I think it's. Uh, it's probably very early night then. Is there any way I can just catch one of them while? Ah, there we go. I caught one of them. Okay, I'm going to send this guy off while I'm waiting. Bye! Okay, and then try to catch one of these guys. Come on! There we go, now I can sleep! And then they're not gonna try to sleep. And perfect! Somebody get in the minecart, please! Two people get in the minecarts, please! I actually need one more person, please! There we go! And then these two people can happily sit here and repopulate... I'll probably come over here with some more food later. I actually have food inside of my mule that I can bring here. If you could just get out of the way, please, sir. Out of the way, please, sir! Okay, and- uh, Why are you both in the way now?! They're just, like, dedicated to not letting- letting this guy get kidnapped. Like, I mean, kudos to you guys, great citizens, but- I'm trying to steal this guy! Thank you! Okay, bye! Have a nice life! Okay, and then we chase this guy down, and... Hopefully the other guy should already be converted. Oh! Both of the guys are converted. Be gone! You go back over here- No, never mind, we're just gonna get attacked, viciously attacked. Okay, and let's pop this back here, and boink! Turn that on. And then send this guy back the other way. Back you go. Back you go. All the way away. Bye. And then he's going to go right through. Bye. Okay, he's gone. Great. And then... Then we just need to quickly start those two going while I go get the last villager. Just so that hopefully it doesn't take too long. Just trying to be efficient about all this, you know? Crud. Crud. That stunk. Okay, well, I can actually just buy an arrow, so this actually doesn't make any difference to me. I'll just buy an arrow. I'll just buy an arrow. This- this- this all becomes a thousand times easier when you can buy the arrow of the effect you need. Okay, let's go get that bread before we run all the way back down that tunnel so I don't need to make two trips. Yeah, there we go. We got some bread here. Let's just go. And here we are back again. Let's head on right on down. And I'll send this guy along so we can start getting converted. Bye! And then I'll give the bread. Here you go. Have your bread. Have your bread. Have lots and lots and lots of bread. Have a nice life. Bye! Make babies! Okay, so while they're hopefully making babies, now we can go and turn their children, brother, whatever the heck this person is to them. 
we are going to be in we are going to be trying to turn them into a zombie so that we can we already have six to turn them into a zombie so that we can turn them back into a human again yay okay so they're in there let's go get ourselves that arrow and here we are perfect okay this guy is stick trade Ooh, stick trades why are you not taking a trade Pick, take the trade take the trade take the trade take the trade Okay, so they're probably gonna take the trade. Um, let's grab ourselves our emeralds, and we have arrows on us, so let's just go grab ourselves the weakness arrows. Perfect, weakness arrows. Got five of them now, and not sure which arrow it's going to use automatically on my bow. Let's check. Okay, yeah, it uses weakness automatically. Great, let's grab our golden apple, and really hoping we don't hit the minecart. There we go. Perfect. Just gotta make sure we don't hit the minecart. That is the only thing we ever need to be careful of here. And then we're good. Great! This actually worked out amazingly for me. Like, I can't believe I got the weakness guy that fast. Like, I I, I literally expected to have to go through at least 100 villagers. That, that's absolutely insane that we got it, like, third villager. Like, what are the chances? What are the chances? They're so, 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 so small. There's, like, no way. Okay, that guy's over. Are you? There we go. He took a trade. Oh. Why aren't you a stick trade? Please be a stick trade. Be a stick trade. Embrace the stick trade. Okay, and um, I'm definitely going to regret not taking that trade when I did. He is definitely never going to take a trade ever again in his whole entire life. And I'm going to have to burn him to death, aren't I? Yes, we'll see. Only time will tell. Okay, and... Boink. There we go. Alright, how's this guy doing? There we go. We got two bows. Awesome. And he should be all leveled up now. Great timing for him to actually decide that he doesn't want any more. Great, and now we get crossbows! <sighs> what the pattern? Okay, there we go. That should be all good, and I think I actually managed to find the perfect number. Okay, so it looks like eight crossbows is how I, is how many you need to get them leveled up. I will remember that. Okay, now we get the feathers, and it's time to show the feathers. It's amazing how... Actually, that, that's actually perfect, because that levels up perfectly. So I think I actually might start doing nine crossbows every single time now, because then it levels up the feather trade perfectly. It just lines up amazingly, okay. No, I would like a stick trade, please. I don't want your arrow and your gravel trade. I want your stick trade, please. Give me... <gasps> Ooh, I have a speed arrow now. Let's go. Let's go. This is actually working out great for me. I did not expect to be getting so many potion arrows. Like, I, I literally have like a 50-50 chance at this point. Slightly more, actually, because I have burned two villagers. Don't, don't tell the villagers that, but I burned two of them. And I have three different potion villagers that's amazing that's amazing okay now I, oh, I, I, did, I did this wrong i should have if i had been smart i would have managed to set up all of my processes so that i would never have to wait for anything but i think i actually just got a villager that converted so i just want to send down one more villager so they can get turned into a into a zombie real quick the first things first i want to try to get this librarian out of the way and then, then I can send down the... Yeah, there we go. Now you're over there. You're out of the way. Let's send down the other villagers who do not have anything yet. Because these guys are just meant to be next victims. Have fun, sir! It's going to be a good time! Ha 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 ha! Devin not just going to get turned into a zombie or anything. What you talking about? What you talking about? That's crazy. Okay, and now we just leave with all of these villagers here. Just don't mind me just stealing some villagers. And then we knock out this, and this, and this, and this rail. I definitely need to set up some sort of lever system here, so that I don't have to absolutely demolish every single rail every single time I try to move anything. But currently, that is the system we're at, so we're doing great. Okay, and then you go, and you go, and then we knock out these ones and put this here, so that we can send in this guy. Be free! And then we carefully shoot them with a weakness error so we don't accidentally shoot the minecart. Why is it not weaknessed? Oh, I didn't use the proper arrow. There we go. 
There we go. Perfect. And this guy's actually all healed up too. That's perfect. Works out great for me. And we leave him. Let's go. Let's go. Off we go. Down to the basement. It's gonna be all great. Let's go buy some glowstone. Because I need more spots. And glowstone. There we go. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Change of plan. We're gonna get ourselves some more emeralds. And we're gonna get ourselves some more glowstone. Let's go. I also should probably honestly just have more emeralds in any case for all of my Fletcher trades. Since I don't make as many emeralds as I spend leveling them up. Which is kind of unfortunate, but oh well, what can you do? What can you do other than complain? And of course, eventually we're gonna start making a whole bunch of zombie villager weaponsmiths, and that will make me happy. Although, actually, I think I want to do cartographers and librarians first. Because if I do cartographers and librarians, then I can make use of a lovely little hack where you can use the glass pane sellback and the buying glass method to make money out of literally nothing. Well, as long as you have a certain amount of emeralds to start with. It is the beauty, the beauty, the beauty, the beauty of extreme discounts. Okay, let's go get ourselves lots and lots of glowstone. I believe I only need four more pieces. But I'll probably grab a little bit extra just to be sure. Actually, I'll just, I'll just get this guy to the next level. Because now he can be a master. Be a master, bro. Yeah, this guy's already a master. So this guy can be a master too. Embrace the masterness. It's great. It's glorious. Okay, and now we head back down to the downstairs. Let's actually put this back here so I can actually shoot everything. There we go. And I don't have another golden apple, so I'm not going to send that guy to get cured just yet. Just not yet. I don't want him to accidentally despawn as a zombie villager. Would not be helpful. Okay, let me come over here, take out the lantern, and... Glowstone goes here. Already have a trapdoor here in position, so it's great. I should really start carrying around a lever with me so I can just swap which way the rails are facing, because I think you can do that. Not sure, I should probably have checked that. Okay, well, you never know. We'll find out eventually. We'll find out eventually. At some point. At some point. Okay, now that he's here, let's drop this off and... Perfect! And then over here as well... Boink! Perfect! Great, I actually, I actually ran out of fletching tables! That's impressive! That is impressive! I managed to do it, I ran out... I ran out of fletching tables! Nice! Cool! Okay, but we are actually approaching the end of stream... And I just want to talk about everything that we've done today, because today we actually started converting villagers back and forth between zombie and villager. And now, as for our efforts, we finally have a turtle master arrow. We have a weakness arrow, which actually is amazing, because it means we don't have to brew any more weakness potions for our converting process. Like, that was an absolute shocker. I, I had no idea I was going to get it so fast. I thought I was going to have to go through at least 100 villagers. It was going to be insane. And then we have one other guy waiting to be traded with, another guy waiting to be traded with, another guy waiting for a trade, and a speed arrow, so I can shoot people and make them go fast. Or I can shoot myself and make myself go fast, or I can just never use the arrows, because I'll never use the arrows. That, that is actually the most likely of all of them. What do you know? But yeah, that, that is what we've done today. We basically just worked on that trading hall, but... I am so shocked on so many different levels that we got the weakness arrow right off the get-go. That was literally our fourth villager, and that was- It was just our fourth villager. I expected to have to do like a hundred of them. And I will never be able to say it enough, because that is just so, so shocking to me that we got it so quickly. But yeah, that is- That is the- We are approaching the end of stream, so I would like to thank you all for watching today's stream. Now we're just gonna awkwardly sit here until hopefully the admin- gets us somebody to raid, or they just won't, and then we'll just awkwardly sit here spinning around on a circle on our jukebox until they either say no or I give up on waiting. But yeah, that that is absolutely insane. I am going to be thinking about that for the rest of my life. The fact that I got a weakness arrow on the fourth try. Like, it's literally, I think, I think it's actually a 50-50 chance exactly if you get an elemental arrow or not, and then of that elemental arrow, it is an equal chance for every single potion effect possible other than luck, I think. 
I think that is. I think that's what it is anyway. But yeah, I have. That is actually insane. I totally expected we'd be there forever. However, now our villager conversion process gets a ton easier because now the only thing that we actually have to go out and get that we can't get inside the trading hall is gold, which we can get from our automatic gold farm. Cough, cough. The admin's automatic gold farm that I just steal from. But yeah, that is everything that we've done today. And now I'm kind of getting antsy. Admin, do you exist? Admin, do you, do you, do you exist, admin? Admin. Admin, do you exist? Okay, well, I'm slightly thinking that admin doesn't exist at this point. So, I'll probably just give it a couple more seconds, then we're just, then we're just gonna end it off. But yeah, just, once again, just saying, thanks all for watching today's stream, really appreciate it. But yeah, that is, that was absolutely insane! I, I know that I've said it like 400 times, but oh my goodness, we got a weakness arrow right off the get-go. That was insane. I feel I feel like the ultimate doctor. I mean, like, it's great. 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 We got our achieve. We got our advancements. We're going great. But yeah, I've, I've, I've given up on. I've given up on admin finding someone to raid. It's probably just a slow night for them out of there. They logged off something like that. I don't know. But yeah, once again, thank you all for watching today's stream. And I'd like to thank- yep. Just thank you for watching today's stream. Hope you guys all have a great day, night, 3 a.m. panic attack, whatever this is for you. Hope you guys have a good one. And I hope to see you all in my next stream. Ciao!